So hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. So as I said in my last video, the one where I talked about Daryl, I'm going to be doing a few videos like this where I discuss different characters or I discuss different events I guess I want to see in season 8. In this video I'm going to be talking about Eugene. Now Eugene... Eugene. Eugene's the type of character that I feel like everyone liked him until they didn't anymore. With the whole I am Negan thing and Eugene seemingly switching over to Negan's side, a lot of people were left feeling really not so hot about Eugene. And I gotta admit, I was one of them as well. When Eugene was like, oh yeah, I'm Negan, and he seemingly completely switched or converted to Negan's side, I was like, Eugene Porter, what the fuck are you doing? And it did kind of seem like he had switched until the whole thing with Sasha, when Sasha was asking for a way out and Eugene helped her, basically. He didn't help her escape, but he gave her the pill that would lead to her death. If Eugene really had switched sides, then he wouldn't give a fuck about anybody but himself. He wouldn't try to help anyone but himself. Him giving that pill to Sasha, to me that was just a clear-cut fucking sign that he still isn't entirely on Negan's side. Eugene, to me, is the type of person who is so concerned with self-preservation that all he cares about is surviving himself. He'll see an opportunity and he'll think, okay, this is gonna work for me, this is gonna benefit me, I'm gonna take it. We saw it when he went with Abraham and he lied to Abraham about having the cure. Again, he did that because he saw, oh, a big strong guy, he'll keep me safe in the apocalypse, he'll stop me from dying, cool, I'll stay with him. So he came up with this elaborate lie in order to keep himself alive, which worked. So I feel like that's kind of what he's doing with Negan. With helping Negan reinforce the wall and shit, he's like getting in there with Negan, if you know what I mean. And he's trying to earn himself brownie points in order to stay alive. Plus, at the Sanctuary, a lot of people have said this, at the Sanctuary, I think Eugene feels needed or wanted. He feels like his skill sets can be put to use there, he's appreciated there. I mean, when he was in Alexandria, people kind of totally just wrote him off and made him feel like he was stupid or like he wasn't important or he was just a nuisance, which to be fair, a lot of the times he was. So I think there might be a little bit of that playing into it too, that he kind of feels worthy in the sanctuary. He kind of feels like, well, I'm needed here and they appreciate me here. But at the same time, I don't believe he is fully on Negan's side. I get a lot of people leaving comments, ask me what I think, Eugene, and it's just, it's too much to put in a comment. So I thought I'd try and explain it in this video. Yeah, he's on Negan's side. Negan's side. But I don't feel like he's fully there. I feel like his heart and his soul and all of his love is still with Alexandria. You know what I mean? And I know that's a long shot and there are people in the comments go, No, Kate, no, he's not. He's a sellout. He's a traitor. He is, kind of, but I do see him redeeming himself in season 8 somehow. If he doesn't redeem himself, I'm going to be so fucking pissed. I'm going to be like, Eugene, you son of a bitch. But at the end of season 7, when he gave Sasha the pill, and um, we see him talking to Negan at the very end of the episode, you can see the way Negan looks at him. Like, Negan was like, well, how did she die in a fucking coffin? And Eugene came up with the excuse of she could have suffocated, could have been anything like that. And thank fuck autopsies aren't available in the apocalypse. Otherwise Negan would fucking skin Eugene alive. I think Negan now is wary of Eugene. Negan knows Eugene is fucking smart and he will talk his way out of any situation. And I think Negan has an inkling that he that Eugene had a hand to play in Sasha's death. And Negan knows if that is the case, then Eugene can't be trusted. I hope to see him come back to the group in season 8 because like, he's part of Alexandria, you know what I mean? He's supposed to be there. I know people are saying he's appreciated at the Sanctuary, but like, he's Eugene. He's supposed to be with Rick and everybody else. And Eugene has had such a tough time of it as well. And I think a lot of people forget about that. Like, yeah, Maggie lost Glenn and Abraham died too. And we've lost so many characters along the way. But Abraham was Eugene's best fucking friend. They kind of reminded me of the Laurel and Hardy of the Apocalypse. They went everywhere together, they did everything together, and then when Abraham died, I think that was a huge fucking blow to Eugene, a blow that I still don't think he's over. So you gotta remember, he's dealing with that as well, and he's just trying to fucking stay alive. I'm not making excuses for him. If it does turn out that he is a traitor, and he is entirely on Egan's side, I'll be like, lol, fuck you, Eugene, you gotta die. But until then, I'm kind of keeping my, my mind open to see what way he goes. Fingers crossed, he will go back to Alexandria. But yeah, that's it on Eugene for today's video, you guys. There might be another video similar to this posted in a few days um, regarding another character. Like I said, I have a few days off work, so I'm going a bit mad on the recording front. This is like my fifth video I've recorded in like <laughs> two days, just so I'll have content to upload this week, next week, and the following week for you guys. 
So yeah, that is it on Eugene Porter. Also, yeah, I'm aware that my fucking head looks like a boiled egg. I got my hair cut and I'm not used to it. You know, when you get a hairdo and you're like, I don't know how to fucking style this thing. So it's just sitting there the way she styled it. I'm not really feeling the sleek look, but there you fucking have it. Anyway, guys, I hope you have a lovely week and I will talk to you all soon.